After years of debate, the baseball diamond at Fairgrounds Field in Shreveport is now one step closer to being a distant memory of the past. And KSLA News 12's Andrew Wellman tells us more about the future of Fairgrounds Field. If they tear that stadium down, a part of me is going to go down with that stadium. The city of Shreveport has started to take bids for the demolition of the historic Fairgrounds Field. Once the home of the Shreveport Captains and the short-lived Swamp Dragons, it looks as if time has finally caught up with the old ballpark. Fort Mayor Tom Arsenault previously told KSLA he hoped to demolish the field by this year's Independence Bowl. Along with saying that the city had put aside $600,000 to use for the demolition of Fairgrounds Field. I spoke to Shreveport local Calvin Page about how he feels knowing that the Fairgrounds Field may be gone soon. When it closed, it, it hurt a lot. My dad was living, we went to a lot of baseball games. It was a chance for family to sit down and do something together and watch a game and have a little excitement in their life. But without any kind of sports, as far as baseball, it, it, it hurts real bad. Page added that he wishes he could have gone back to the ballpark one more time to say goodbye to the field. Despite the city taking demolition bids, the friends of Fairground Field are still trying to save the field, but understand it's an uphill battle at this point. We're frustrated and we're sad because it seems like our campaign could be coming to an end. Nobody wants to have a fight with the city. We don't want to fight with the city. But when you have that sort of intractable attitude, it makes it difficult to negotiate with other parties. Now, to their benefit, these other parties have expressed an interest, and we've reached out to them, including private parties, not just uh, public entities. Robertson explained that the group still wants to create a multi-party organization that would own and care for the field, but it looks like time has run out. Well, it's not over till the fat lady sings, and she hasn't started singing yet, but I think she's tuning up. Reporting in Shreveport, Andrew Wellman, KSLA News 12.